Hello, and welcome back. I, uh, I bet you didn't think that this, this was going to continue, but it is. Um, I did start a new game. I have slightly different characters, as you can see. Uh, although I, I caught, I, I kept Dark Roast, because I like Dark Roast. Um, my favorite, you know. And, um, I've pretty much progressed back to where we were. Um, almost. Things are a little bit different now. Uh, and the, the only thing I, I, um, I meant to put this on the screen. Let me, let me go ahead and, and go above and beyond for once. I took a screenshot. The only thing I accidentally progressed further on was, uh, I went, I found the stairs down and I found our friend here, uh, a dwarf who, uh, was, was having a spot of bother. He was having a, having a trubs, you know, uh, that's short for trouble. And... <laughs> Just in case I, I don't accidentally say something weird. Anyway, um, I, I, I healed him up. He's good to go. And uh, he joined our our group. Um, and he's in the back now. I'm actually going to put him in the front. Because he's a, he's a, he's pretty... He's got some really ridiculously good um, constitution. Check out his constitution. 19. And 17 strengths. Like, he's just like a perfect front line person um i was working with this um cleric grand bold grand bold um he uh was doing a pretty good job but he definitely needed a lot of help in the form of various buffs and uh speaking of which we're gonna we have our, our friend espresso espresso is a mage espresso is gonna go ahead and armor up um our front line people uh, I have been uh, tr basically memorizing uh, scrolls and, and so, you know, whatnot. Oh, I forgot that there's a pr hidden pressure plate in this room. And uh, we're more or less back to where we were. Um, there's a little bit. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of boxes to check. Um, literally, I guess. I need to find this jewelry box. Uh, and this, I think, is the hole that I had the clever idea to jump down into. So we won't be doing that again. I will not be doing that. Um, instead, we're going to go and explore the rest of this floor. And uh, we have like an actual official staircase down now. So that's good. Just I, I hear I hear one of these fish people, one of these weird lizard folk. They're 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 wandering around down here somewhere. I know uh, they're probably past that locked door, the the jewelry box door. I do want to, um, you know, I was looking, I was kind of looking at the um, the the manual. I was, you know, trying not to spoil myself, but um, it does say like you don't have to explore every nook and cranny. Um, experience is a weird thing in this game. I, I I do think that you get it from combat, but you seem to get more of it from ex um, discovering things. That being said, it really doesn't feel like you like you don't have to explore everything, um, and and the manual actively suggests that you don't you know don't do that, really, because like you you can, um, but it's weird, you know, like uh, no one does that in real life. If you're playing D and D in real life and you want to make sure you have the entire dungeon mapped out, I think you're a little bit weird. That's a that's a, that's a little bit anal retentive. You know what I mean? Maybe that's um, in bad taste of me to suggest, but... Alright, we have a door here. I think we're all good to go. Um, oh yeah, we... So, G G Espresso has magic missile. We're gonna get that ready. Not seeing... You feel dizzy. Okay, well, that's because we got spun around there, if you didn't notice. We have a key. Um, Espresso has been our official key holder, but I think it might, uh, be Grand, Grand Bold that, um, gets the honor. Actually, I just noticed, um, Thagor here, who's our, our first, like, person with an actual name. He doesn't have a shield. We could give him a shield. You can't put that item there. What? Wait, uh, wrong place. Yeah, okay, so go, go ahead and have a shield, and also have some food. What, what's wrong with you, bud? Have some food. So I will be um, actually saving the game from time to time, which I had not been doing previously. And that's a really uh, a, a me problem. I, I really should have been doing that. 
We got spun around again, huh? Oof. They love- these guys love to run away from me. Come here, come here. Um, yeah, so our front- our front people are gonna be doing work. Uh, Espresso, go ahead and throw us a magic missile. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. I appreciate that. Um, cappuccinos out of daggers. We can- we can pick these up off the ground, though. I like how sometimes the, the dagger, like, just pauses mid- in midair. Just to, like, kind of catch up with it. Whoa! Okay. Was that a- was that, like, a crit kill? Because that was really good. Okay, before- before we get, uh, railroaded by another of those fish people. The fish people are a problem. They, there's a strategy to killing them, easily. You know, without- without taking damage. Um, there is a strategy to killing, like, every monster without taking damage. I kind of treat things very lazily. Um, you might notice I- I don't really have a lot of tactic. Um, I just kind of, like... I- you know what my- my tactic is, is buff everyone. Um, so that they- they take zero damage. And then make sure we rest between combats. And I think that that is enough. I don't think that you necessarily have to do more than that. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room, in this set of hallways. I don't think that we- I had explored this zone. Uh, oh, uh, uh. We got spun around again. It doesn't seem to be anything in this room. It does seem- like, it seems like there's just, like, a lot of stuff in this game that is just, like, you know, there, it doesn't really serve much purpose. Um, but that might be because there is something there that I haven't discovered yet. Apparent okay, so this is the stair- the ladder up. I think this is where I came from. But we have a- we have a key now. We should be able to go somewhere. Um, I would like to explore what I can before I- I do that. Uh, I really don't want to go downstairs yet. The thing about downstairs is, uh, you may have seen it. You'll see, you saw a little bit of it last episode, but... Downstairs, um, there is a lot of spiders. And they all poison your, your, your guys. And, like, um, and this is a good time to rest, actually. We could pray for more, more spells. Um, well, this is- Dark Rose is a paladin now. But, um, she's too low level for, for, uh, for spells. Pray for spells. Grande Bold, do you have a very important spell yet? No, you don't, you don't have level three spells yet. He has, um, Slow Poison. Slow Poison is going to be com uh, come in a lot of handy. Um, come in a lot of handy? Come in handy, uh, in the floor below. We, we would like to have cle Clear Poison. Um, but we don't have that. Flame Blade, I, like I say, I was having a Grand Bold in our front, um, and he was doing a lot of attacking with Flame Blade. And, uh, but now that we have a, a second proper fighter in the front, or at least frontline fighter, we're gonna go ahead and do away with that. We could take, like, Detect Magic. I am interested to see even how that works. And I was using, uh, Protect, uh, Protect from Evil as a, as another kind of buff. Let's take a, like one bless and one detect magic, um, because I'm I'm interested to see that. And we'll rest up. Um, I think I should have done um, memorized spells as well. Did we? Hey. Okay. The, again, the cat is just very fascinated with the garbage. I I, I know, and I know why. It's because I have to take it out. Don't worry about it. Scribe scrolls. We don't have any more scrolls to scribe. Um, memorize spells. So, um, this is very much the same. Espresso has some other stuff. They have Shocking Grasp. Magic Missile is great. Armor is what we use to buff the front line. And then we have, uh, some interesting things here. Acid Arrow and Invisibility. We have no, uh, third level spells. At least, I don't think that they can cast any third level spells yet because they are not high enough level. And Cappuccino is a, th is a thief again. Um, we can, we can, like, pick locks, but I'm interested to see, maybe there's a detect, a reason to detect magic in here. 
Um, it looks like the book, Espresso's book is, is uh, highlighted. It looks like this um, stone dagger is highlighted, which is interesting. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with the stone dagger. Um, so that detect magic seems kind of pointless if I'm being honest. We have, we have a key here. We can, oh, we have two keys actually. All right, let's try a key here. The key fits and we had a button and we pushed the button and we have a hallway now. And I definitely hear footsteps. Um, let's go ahead and get some, uh, armor set up. Casting spells is a little bit cumbersome in this game. Grand Bold's Detect Magic spell expires. I, it looks like I can't do armor actually on, on our lads, on Thagor and, and uh, Dark Horse because they're, the, it says their armor class is too high or is high enough. So we have a main scroll of Detect Magic. Incredible. We'll throw that in their pocket. But what do we have here? We have a gem. Who, who's going to hold the gem? Like, okay, Thagor. Thagor really... Ooh, what is this? It looks like a backstabber. Ooh. Not really sure how that's going to work. Can we do anything interesting? Like, is it a, a throwing weapon? It actually is. So we can throw that in our repertoire. Um, there is... Okay, I, I remember Grimrock had this mechanic as well. Where you could... Um, you could you could like hurt people more if you attack from behind it rarely came up though um i'm gonna throw a shield down this hole uh i thought i was going to i guess i'm not i was kind of i kind of wanted to try so throwing something down the hole uh so that i could like well i i don't know either it uh it appears later and we have some context um we know where where holes connect where floors connect or uh, maybe you throw something down the hole and something happens. I don't know. We have one more key. And there's a couple of uh, keyholes over here. Oh, God. That hurt. Um, oh, we, we are surrounded right now. Uh, we need to turn. Magic Missile. Magic missile, miss, miss. Oh wait, we hit them. Okay. Uh, we need to heal Cappuccino. Cool. Uh, that was scary. It's incredible to me that like I I'm at, like I actually feel fear <laughs> when I'm playing this game. Uh, okay. Oh that that hit hard. Nice. I think that backstabber is actually really nice. What do you mean can't reach? I'm trying to heal my friendos. Don't tell me you can't reach my friendos. You can always reach your friends, you know? Reach out to them. They they care about you, okay? We have uh, another key here. Or keyhole. But this is the door we unlocked. We have more potions. Extra healing. We have too much stuff, I think. We can definitely use the potions. If uh, inventory management wasn't so... Um, how can I put this genteely? Bad? <laughs> if it wasn't so bad, then um, I, I would definitely use things like potions. You can put stuff in people's spare hands, but the hands are just so useful. I guess what we could do is I could put, like, these are potions of healing. Extra healing, actually. So we could put those in their hands. Um, and the thing is, you could, you have to put it in their hands and then, um, and then you, like, use it. So they can't actually even, like, it's just cumbersome. It's really cumbersome. 
you can't just like uh throw a potion on a face or something or like put it in their dinner plate or something like you you have to put it in their hand and then they have to use it so that means you have to take the weapon out of their hand and that just seems like don't do that actually i should have while i was doing that um we should have prayed for some new spells grand bold uh we don't we don't care about detect magic it was it was interesting trying it but i actually think that just um we could try cause light wounds he could become well i, I don't want to like another spell caster because casting spells is a bit of a pain the fact that it that it kind of um takes over your interface slightly is a is a bit of a problem so uh, the only person I really want, like, I, and I always forget, actually, we should memorize some new spells. Um, we're going to have you, uh, we, apparently armor isn't good anymore. I'm not sure. I, I might, let's like, let's look up armor and see what, uh, see what it does for us. I'm just curious how to, to see how it works, you know? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, mage spells, magic missile, armor. With this spell, the mage can surround a character with a magical field that protects as chainmail, AC6. The spell has no effect on characters who already have AC6 or greater, and does not have a cumulative effect with the shield spell. The spell lasts until the character suffers 8 points plus 1 per level of the caster of damage or a dispel magic is cast. Interesting. So, there you go. Um, shield. The spell produces an invisible barrier in front of the mage that totally blocks, blocks magic missile attacks. It also offers AC2 against hurled weapons and AC3 against propelled missiles. The spell does not have an accumulative effect with the armor spell. Spell duration in increases with the uh, level of the caster. Okay, I mean, shield technically has more of a use case, um, but I, I think that just like having three magic missiles and then having like just extra damage available is probably better overall. All right, we need to rest in order to get those spells. So let's go ahead and do that. It takes eight hours for Espresso to memorize those spells, which is, uh, I don't know, I'm not giving them a hard time about it, but it is interesting. I, I, I don't blame them, honestly. Like, can you imagine how complicated and also tedious spell cra uh, crafting is? You know, like, you have to memorize some kind of incantation. And, like, um, generally speaking, magic incantations are uh, require gestures, meaning your hands, um, verbal, and also materials. We're not, we don't have to worry about the materials, thankfully, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. That doesn't mean they don't exist. Um, our friend uh, Espresso is probably managing them without complaint or mentioning that to us. But generally speaking, you do have to, you do need a material component. Okay, so we got another lad here. Um, I should have set up something, but we didn't. It's fine. Magic missile. Oof the frame rates game cannot handle my my copious strategies wow that uh, that frame rate is not not good what was that sound I'm definitely hearing footsteps and that monster should not have been available. Okay. We're seeing, we're hearing footsteps that we are, are unaccessible or inaccessible to us as of right now. It's always kind of creepy when, uh, you come across a monster that just shouldn't exist. You know, you've, you've, gone through an area and uh you've cleared it out and then you come back through that area and then you find a monster and it's like what no my dude you should not exist i'm gonna put this gem here there we go oh ho, 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 ho. that's not what you want to see uh lay on hands 
Magic Missile. Um, definitely we should bless before I get into combat, but it's fine. Ma do we, are we out of magic missiles? Okay, hit him with an uh, acid arrow. Did it miss? God damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to get cure light wounds ready. Actually, we're out of cure light wounds. Okay, well, let's get some um, daggers ready at the very least. Ah, classic mistake. I didn't put it in my hand. Okay, that's one dead. We're actually doing all right right now. We have a spare potion in case things get really nasty. Things are getting really nasty. Okay, let's uh, swap just so that Dark Roast doesn't die. And then we can give her that potion. Uh, never mind. I guess she she's incapable of taking it right now. I don't understand how that works. There's our cure, cure light wounds. Where, where were they before? Was I, tr was I um, clicking the wrong person's spellbook? Can we undo this? T hole is tightly sealed. <laughs> um, that's a bummer. Okay, let's just um, worry about one thing at a time. We're going to pick up our daggers. I definitely think there's someone else in here. This dagger just like straight up looks like a banana to me. The blessed spell has expired. Okay, do we have, um, oh, Mage Scroll of Fireball. I don't think we have that one yet, so we'll definitely want to learn that. We're going to give our rocks to Thagor. Thagor is going to be, um, you know, king of the rocks. I don't think there's anything else in here um, that we haven't already explored. Are we having that problem where we get teleported again? Yes. Interesting. I wonder why. It's specifically in that corner. There's something in that corner that maybe um, someone doesn't want me to find. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Well, it's, there's the rock. I wonder. I wonder what it is about that rock or that that corner. It's interesting. Well, anyway, we we definitely want to um, rest. Fortunately, Grand Bold being in the back, and maybe I should change that. Actually, Grand Bold might be one. one we might want to put them in the center, um, just because if we get um, like kind of uh, pincered, you know, like someone in the back, someone in the front. We don't, uh, we don't want to, uh, we don't want our cleric to be taking that damage, you know? Actually, we should get our blesses in order. Oh, bar, yeah, Dark Roast is not in the right place. Okay, let's do Lay on Hands right away. And throw our daggers. That was a good hit right there. Really decent hit. Okay, let's throw in a magic missile. Magic missile, I mean, it rarely kills, but it does do some damage. I should check to see how much damage it actually does. Let's throw in our daggers. I do wonder if I'm just playing this game badly, like maybe there's a bunch of shortcuts for like automatically putting daggers in their proper place. And I just don't know what it is yet. Uh, we are in for another labyrinth. I was wondering if we could get a backstab in. Oh. 
Where is uh, my cure light wounds? Bless. Um, get that aid on, on Dark Roast. Did I not set up cure light wounds? Maybe uh, it didn't... Like, maybe when I rested and was using cure light wounds to heal the party, it didn't wait to just, like, recover another one. Oh god, we're getting hit by someone behind. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, put in Grand Bold as a stand-in. Throw in all our daggers. Cappuccino's gonna be our main d damage dealer for now. Which is not good. I do find that this party is a bit squishier. Um, it is a little bit squishier. I mean, that makes sense. We've got a mage. And mages tend to be squishier. Uh, I want to get out of here. I'm not, I'm not happy being in here for n right now. Okay. Um, just make sure everyone's okay. We're going to rest up. Um, let me just check here. Pray for spells. Grand Bold. Ha should have two Cure Light Wounds. I'm a little bit curious why he didn't have two Cure Light Wounds. Well, it's fine. We'll rest up. Heal the party. So, yeah. I, I, I didn't fully explore the second floor. And I like I say, you don't really have to. But it is fun. I mean, like, you know, I don't I don't know why you wouldn't, I suppose. Every nook and cranny, eventually I'm going to get, uh, you know, I want to want to progress, but I'm not excited for the next floor because I, I really am not huge, a huge fan of Spider Spider City. Um, we forgot to scribe scrolls. Let's do that. Fully rested. Um, can we memorize that? What is that? A level two? Level three spell. We don't have, we, we don't, we're not high enough level. Espresso is not high enough level to do that yet. So uh, we won't be doing that. Um, but good to know we have our first, uh, level, level, uh, three spell. Um, we have the wrong order here, so let's go ahead and set up Dark Roast there. Um, set up a Bless. Is that what we want? I guess we do want Bless. And I do want Aid. Um, that is a Cleric spell. We'll, we'll do Aid as soon as we see something worth aiding against. Uh, we see something worth aiding against. And, uh, you know, whoops. Ah, oh, see, that's that's a good reason why you don't want to put a keep a potion in someone's hand is you might not you might accidentally use it. I accidentally used my potion. That's a real bummer. Also, I've seemed to have lost my banana. Um, my banana dagger, which is really bad because I'm pretty sure that was a really good dagger. I had extra, extra stuff, extra spice. Got another, um, jewel. We'll have espresso look after that. Hopefully he won't accidentally drink it. Do not accidentally drink that jewel, my dude. Is that our banana? That is our... No, that is not our banana. Okay, we got some more baddies in there. We do have... There's our banana. We found our banana. Banana dagger hype. All right, we want to kill everything in here before we advance to more fish people. The fish people are a pain, but they, they're kind of like a firecracker that, you know, the, the brighter it burns, the shorter it burns kind of thing. That was pretty good. There we go. Um, the the fish people, they, they just like shoot out not quite a magic missile. It's something uh, like a little bit more advanced. But as soon as they're done, then they're done. Ah, a shortcut. Fantastic. Um, and then you can run in and, and do some um, some melee hits. Wait, that looked like a... No, there's no switch there. 
Okay, so we just have one more area here. Um, I guess, uh, are we almost, let's, let's use our bless because I'm pretty sure we were almost done our bless and then we'll, we'll keep magic missiles open. That was, yeah, you didn't even get a chance there to attack. This is, this is really how you're supposed to play this game. Grand Bold has gained a level experience. Um, once you, once you figured out the crux of an enemy, you have to take every advantage. And if you can, if you can, um, get through a, a combat without taking any damage, you probably should, um, absolutely try and, and get through, uh, an encounter without taking too much damage. Okay, what do we got in here? Ooh, something interesting. What is this? Is that a spear? Oh, yeah, it is a spear. Nice. Someone in the back can use this. These are bones. Um, so the bones are interesting. This is probably something I shouldn't know. But I did know that I, 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 I you know, it's hard to make it in life without getting spoiled on a 20 to 30 year old game. How old is this game? Probably about older than 30 years old, honestly. But um, the bones can be resurrected. You can take the bones and then much, much later down the line, you can uh, resurrect them. We have a spear. I don't know if we can use that on... We can use it on Cappuccino. And, oh, she throws it. That's bizarre. What about Grande Bull? Does he throw it as well? What about Espresso? It seems like the only person that can use it is Cappuccino. And she does throw it. That's a little bit disappointing. I thought that maybe it worked like uh, Grimrock, where um, if you had a spear, you could you could uh, stab with it. You didn't necessarily have to. You can't put that item there, so you can't put it in your tool belt. And in fact, you have to put it in your primary hand, it seems. Hmm, interesting. And we also got some armor. Was that leather armor? I don't know if this is better or worse than chainmail. You would think that chainmail would be better. I'm pretty sure everyone has at least leather armor. Um, espresso has robe, but I, I don't know. It might be that having anything better than a robe might hurt them. We can try. Uh, espresso can't wear that type of armor. Okay, well, there you go. At least I tried. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with, with leather armor, to be honest. Um, all right, so we're pretty much done in this labyrinth. I still hear a fish person somewhere. We did get another, um, jewel. So we could put this over here. Um, should have probably prepped a little bit before doing that. I, I really thought I was going to make it through that without taking any damage. I hear a bunch of enemies. They're making their way downtown. Oh, ow. What? Hey. Hey, that's not cool. No, no fun, uh getting behind me like that I uh, yo how many are of you are there okay we're we're fine oh we're not fine okay we're fine <laughs> okay let's put this in our primary hand Go get our dagger. We're, I'm still hearing fish people everywhere. There's there's a ton of these critters, and they they are incessant. 
Um, I would like to like take a moment, but uh, we don't really have a moment. So let's get our magic missiles ready. Oh God. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. Um, our, our cleric is hurt. Okay, hold on. I need to, I need to mentally prepare here. Uh, we have a potion. Okay, I should have saved. I didn't save. Yeah, and that's what happens when you don't save. Uh... Alright, well, we'll have to load, and I guess I'll do a pause until I catch up to where I was. That's what happens when you don't save, and I hate that, but it is what it is. I don't know how far back I am, but it's far. Alright, I'll see you soon. Okay, I I went through the wrong door first, and then I realized halfway through this puzzle, it was like, oh, shoot, I'm not recording. Uh, this uh, this, this uh, game is kind of a nightmare to record, but um, that's only because I, I keep refusing to save. So we're going to be saving even more aggressively. Basically, before I, like, whenever I rest the party or walk through a door, I'm going to be saving. Always be saving uh a a b s you know um okay hold on so we're in a room full of holes this is the the place where i i fell down a hole just curious if there's anything on these walls no there's a there's a, there's a it seems like i want to be putting pressure uh, rocks on like all of the pressure plates oh god The fact that we don't have a ranged weapon. Well, we do have a ranged weapon. I don't really want to be throwing them. Where where does he keep going? Okay, we're going to throw him now. Oh. I don't like the idea of my, my daggers are like going through holes right now. Or going going into those holes. Um, we're gonna run out of daggers, also. Okay, we 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 killed them. Nice. Um, I I'm a little bit concerned that I can't get back there now. We're probably gonna end up falling down a hole at some point. Well, there's a bunch of stuff anyway. take the jewel the jewel will uh let us go to the uh, the other room that you already saw me do it's getting confusing i know um grand bold has gained a level of experience i don't know what that did but it did something let's put a rock down fortunately the auto mapper does like update pretty pretty nicely like you can you can tell when things change you'd think that rock would have been good enough but it yeah i, don't, I guess it is good enough i think the room has is a uh, kind of reverted to a point in which we can pick stuff or our uh, old stuff back up I don't feel like oh we've got everything though. I'm missing dart uh the dart. There it is. There's there's the rest of our stuff. That's what we like to see. And I'm thinking we should put our dart in our left hand and the banana in our right hand so that we can um use both at the same time. We I definitely hear more stuff that we have to kill. Um I think that well, there's another dagger here. I think that we we had to go down this hall, and this is where the other jewel box is. I bet you some of our other party members are hungry. Let's just like go down to the end of this hall. What does it say? Museum. Can't remember if I did this already. I definitely hear something. Right, I always forget that there's a secret 
or hidden uh, pressure plate in that room. So I'm pretty sure um, all of that noise we're hearing is in the room I hasn't I, I hasn't I haven't visited yet. Um, but before we do that, let's uh, rest our party. Let's memorize some spells. This is fine. What we need actually, uh, I, I need to undo like redo this business. Three magic missiles. Exit and then make sure we pray for spells because um, I want to make sure that we have all the correct spells. We don't, I mean, we could take protect evil. I don't know if it really works against those uh, lizard people. Um, we'll take it though. Two aids is fine. Oh, we have three spell uh, level three spells now. Create food. That'd be kind of nice, except we have tons of food. Magical vestment. We should, uh, I should, like, look up some of these spells. Um, because I'd like to know a bit more about how they work. Give me a second. Fourth level, no, we don't want to look at mage spells. We want to look at cleric spells. Okay, here we go. Third spell, level spell. Dispel magic, that's an obvious one. Uh, negates the effects of any spell affecting the party. Dispel magic does not counter cure spells. But it will dispel, hold person, cloud kill, bless, and similar spells. Prayer. The spell is a more pow powerful version of the first level bless. Increases the party's combat ability and decreases the enemies. The spell has no cumulative effect. Remove paralysis. Well, where's, uh, where's cure poison? That's, like, we seriously need that. Neutralize poison is a fourth level cleric spell. That is mean. How in the world are we supposed to get through an entire den of spiders when, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's mean. What is a, what about magical vestment? Enchants the cleric's own robes, providing a protection at least equivalent to chain mail. The vestment gains a plus one enchantment for every three levels the cleric earns above fifth level. Well, that doesn't seem very good. I think prayer is probably the best of, of that bunch. Okay. Um, does that mean we have... Did our wizard also level up? I don't know. We don't have fireball yet. Um, and we're going to rest the party. Make sure everyone's good and rested. And then we're going to save the game. And I'm going to do that. That's that's our, our new... Um, mantra is whenever we rest we save and that's going to save the party literally it's going to save the party um so we could try prayer it doesn't have cumulative so we you know once we use it there's no point in using um bless Okay, just wanted to kind of get things in a good order. What do you mean, miss? Don't be missing. Wow, they really are missing a lot. Okay, um, the other one, I'm not sure, has, uh, has about half their health bar. Fortunately, they're also missing, and, and I, I that's probably due to prayer. Nice. Okay, so that's good. I think that that went better than usual, so I, I do think that prayer um, definitely has value. Is this the fireball? This is the fireball. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw that in our wizard's um, cloak. And we're going to go ahead and save again because I'm pretty sure this is the room that killed me. I say room, uh, it is actually like a labyrinth. Not a huge fan of labyrinths. In the general sense, like it's a very, it's very easy to get cornered and um, pincered from two sides. We're gonna lay on hands. Lay on hands works really well. Please die. My god, these guys have a lot of health. 
Okay, there we go. And I gotta spend a bunch of time picking up all of our daggers. I'm sure there's a, maybe there's something I, like I, I keep saying this, but maybe there's something I don't understand yet about this because it does seem, it just seems like very labor intensive. All right. Um, okay. I'm hearing a lot of fish people. Where are they all? I hear a lot of them. Oh god, this is this is it, right? Oh, ouch. Let's just back out of there in case there was someone behind us. Okay, we don't have prayer anymore, so I should rest just to get prayer back. But yeah, we have this, um, <laughs> we've got this here button. So let's, hold on. Actually, we should have prayer. Didn't I just rest? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and rest the party for just a moment. No reason not to. That's the nice thing about dead ends in mazes is that you know where the enemies are going to come from. You know, there's no question about it. All right, we'll do prayer. We don't have to do that, like, right there. But I think it's better just in general. Okay, does that, did that just send me to the entrance? Oh wait, no, that's the um the shortcut, right? And then did I come back here thinking maybe well where's this where are these noises I'm hearing? But I'm pretty sure they're just in this labyrinth. There's definitely something in this labyrinth. It's kind of creepy. Like, there's... I'm not hearing any m music. We've got a doorway here. I'm not sure if that's the, the where they're all coming from. Oh, oh, there's someone. How did they... How did I not see them? Did we just, like, dance around the same little section? Oh, prayer doesn't last long, is the one problem with prayer. Still hearing lots of baddies. How are we doing for health? Actually, Dark Roast is not great for health right now. So why don't we spend a couple of Cure Light Wounds just to bring her back up. And we'll do a Bless. Um, I still, I just like need to make sure that I'm, yeah, there's still, there's still some people in here. I do think that where, um, someone is gives them a, a better odd of, of hitting something like cappuccino's on the left side here. And therefore th she's going to have a better chance of hitting enemies that are on the left. You know, like, um, basically enemies always have like kind of a lane. So that's, there's a benefit to switching enemies or switching your allies' spots in case uh, your ranged user is like in one lane. Uh, okay, so this is going to be, this is going to suck. Let's go ahead and rest up. We'll get our prayer back. Everyone's healed up. Let's go ahead and save. Let me just... Um, Minimize the uh, manual on my other screen. And uh, Bless is not back. I thought that maybe we got to keep Bless. I'll, I'll reserve prayer for something a bit more nasty. That went well. That went really well. I'm still hearing... Um, one of those warriors. I don't know what they what they are. They're kind of like a wolf person. Right. This is where we found the spear, the leather cloak, which uh, doesn't really do much for us, and the long sword. I don't know what we're gonna do with the long sword. We could give that to someone. 
Um, we could give it to Dark Roast. I don't know if it's better for her or not. This is always a question I kind of run into. Uh, and we have the spear. I get. I, we'll keep the spear. Why not? So um, you we might see in our map, uh, bottom right corner, is there's just like a huge section of the map that we'll only see if I uh, insist on falling down a hole. Oh. I definitely think I'm going to do better now that I figured out this lane business. Yeah, that, that was like instantly better. We were already hitting him. Um, oh, there's a jewel on the ground. Did I? I thought I did all of the jewel boxes now. Did I not do all the jewel boxes? I'm just looking at the map and I'm not seeing, I'm pretty sure I see both jewel box sections, but I mean, I guess, let's see, like we went into one, got a jewel box. I don't know. Weird. Um, yeah. All right. Well, it's fine. We have an extra jewel. I don't know for what, but Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. And in the next one, we're going to we're going to be moving on to the next floor. Oh, my God. There's another one of these dudes. Hold on. Man, these guys suck. OK. I'm still hearing more of them. Hold on a second. They, they just like sound like they're all around me. I'm gonna I'm gonna just like make my way back to uh back to sanity. Cause I don't wanna fight any more fish people to be honest. Alright, I'm not hearing any more fish people, which is nice. I'm I'm kinda tired of that sound. I I'm gonna get tired, real tired, of the uh spider sound. Why am I still hearing them? Jesus, there's just like everywhere. Okay, why don't we just like end things down here? Because at least there's a door down here and now we can listen to spider sounds. All right. Um, yeah, as I say, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.